Very good. Thank you. The twelfth root of six to the seventh power. Who got it? Excellent. Good job. All right, let's move. Now, this is the second thing we're going to look at. What if you're looking for the fourth root of something that doesn't have four anythings in it? But I'm still telling you it can be simplified further. See, 25 breaks down to 5 times 5, right? It's not enough fives. But it can go further. So how do we do this? The first thing we do is if this number under the radical is a perfect square, cube, fourth power, whatever, we're going to break it down into its primes. But instead of 5 times 5, we're going to write 5 squared, okay? And then we're going to put it into fractional form. So if the fourth root of 5 squared turns into fractional exponent form, what is that going to be? I raised my screen too fast. Isn't that the 5 to the 2 fourths? No. And 2 fourths reduces down to what? 1 half. But my problem started as a radical, so I've got to turn it back into a radical. So we could actually reduce that. It reduces to the square root of 5. Okay? So what were my steps? So you could just act like 2 and 5. Well, it's not acting like, because basically what we did is this. The fourth root of 25, okay, well, that breaks down to this, okay? And we're looking for something that shows up four times. Well, five can be broken down into this, correct? Because the square root of five times itself gives you five. And this five can be broken down. Again, now do I have something showing up four times? The square root of five showed up four times. But an easier way of doing it is working with fractions. Okay? All right? Now we want to get this as simple as we can. Is eight a perfect something? It's a perfect cube, is it not? Okay, so I have the tenth root of 8 to the fifth power. But how can I write 8 instead of 8? Two cubed. Okay, now I have a step that I have to do before I can put this into a fraction. Under the radical, I'm raising a power to a power. So what am I going to do, Ryan? Multiply the exponent 3 times 5. Because there are actually how many under there? 15. Okay? So this is the 10th root of 2 to the 15th power. Now, you can start taking out now, but you're not going to simplify it all in one step. You have several steps to do. Tyler, wake up. So what we're going to do from here is make it into a fractional exponent. And then we're going to reduce that fraction. What is two? What is this as a fractional exponent? Two to the fifteen over ten. Okay, can fifteen tenths be reduced to three halves? Five goes into each of them, and you get three halves. Now turn that back into a radical. What is it? The square root of 2 cubed. Can I reduce the square root of 2 cubed further? Are there enough 2's under there to take one out? Square root means I'm looking for groups of 2. There are. Alright? And how many are left? So the final answer is 2 times the square root of 2. Alright. Let me ask you quickly, 
How are you going to become proficient at these types of problems? You won't have to do a bunch of them. Okay? You're going to have to do a bunch of them. So, just doing the minimum of the homework that I assign is the minimum that's required. All right? If you can't get it in the homework that's assigned, you need to go find more problems and keep practicing. But I'm not going to assign you know, a bunch of problems for everybody because some people get it with just the homework. So that's where you've got to come in and decide, what can I do here? All right, last thing we're looking at today. How do we simplify the cubed root of the square root of 8? All right, well, the last two things that we looked at, Tyler, sit up straight, put your pencil in your hand, and write. It'll help you stay awake. The last thing that we looked at, the last two things we looked at said, okay, if radicals are confusing, they get crazy like this, we put them as fractional exponents, right? We also said, if the number under here is a perfect square, cube, whatever, then write it that way. So the answer to solving this is primes and fractions. The 8, turn it into its primes. It's a perfect cubed. We'll turn that into 2 cubed. Then we're going to turn this problem into something with fractional exponents. Okay? Not yet. Hold on. I didn't work this. I watched The Notebook last night, which is like the saddest movie ever. And ten minutes after it, is, it was over, I was still crying because I was thinking about it. So I like forgot to work this problem. Okay. Cubed root of the square root of eight. I'm... Okay, cubed root of the square root of 8. Well, 8 is 2 cubed, is it not? Okay, we're going to go through this the long way, and then I'm going to show you that there's a little shortcut when this happens. But let's do it the long way, because sometimes it's not always like this. This is a power raised to a power. Starting from the inside, if I turn this into a fractional exponent, what is that? Two to the three halves, right? Square root of two cubed. Okay, now this, I'm taking the cubed root of it. What is that as a fraction? To the one third, correct? It is. Because this thing is raised to the first power, so one over three. Because it's a cubed root. It's not being cubed. It's a cubed root. Okay? If you raise this to the third power, it means you're multiplying it by itself three times. But that's not what we're doing. We're taking the cubed root of it. Well, now we're right back to where we were yesterday. How do you deal with powers to powers? What do you do? You multiply. Well, when we multiply here, don't those just cancel? So I've got 2 to the 1 half, which is equal to the square root of 2. Now, let me show you a shortcut on this one. 